Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you some parts of the standard toolbar in Microsoft Excel. Let's open up Excel by clicking on the Start button. Let's go to All Programs. Let's find Microsoft Office and just open up Excel. Now this area at the top is called the Ribbon and it is basically the toolbar that you're going to use for all of your operations uh, down the line in Excel. Now, uh, the very first one, as you can see, it's laid out in tabs, is the Home tab. And this tab allows you to format the text that's typed into Excel. Like if I type, uh, you know, a name, I can then select that cell and make it bold using this and change the color and basically do text editing uh, on my cells within Excel. Now the Insert tab up here allows me to drop in tables uh, which allow me to organize the data in Excel and to sort and create filters. I can drop pictures in. I can build charts based upon the um, data that I have typed into Excel. I can link to web pages and I can also add some interesting text features. Page layout basically controls the way that uh, the page will appear if I were to print it uh, on my printer, like uh, the orientation either portrait or landscape. You have features such as that, and that controls how to print. Formulas allows you to drop uh, little tiny programs into cells that uh, calculate sums of data or averages, uh, things like that, and you'll use formulas quite a bit uh, as you get to the sort of advanced uses of Excel. The Data tab is another advanced use of Excel that allows you to pull data from a database in your organization. Uh, it's by, through this Get External Data button. Review allows you to track changes in Excel and also insert comments such as uh, David here and say new comment, I don't like the red. Boom. There's now a comment on that cell that if somebody were to look at it say I don't like the red and you can decide what to do from that in your organization. So those are a lot of the more basic uses of the toolbar in Excel, um, just sort of going down the line and explaining to you what they are. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just explained to you the standard parts of the toolbar in Excel.